They say that records are meant to be broken, but in the game of cricket, there are many records that to this day have proved too incredible to beat. Today's video is all about such records, so make sure to stick around till the end so you don't miss out on any of it. Starting off at number 17 is none other than Don Bradman from Australia. Enter Don Bradman, who got a great ovation. Bradman played 52 matches, scored a total of 6,996 runs, and recorded 29 centuries with 13 50s. In the end, he set a record batting average of 99.94. Bradman, who has now become a legend, had his last test match over seven decades ago in 1948. Ever since then, no other player has been able to reach or even challenge Bradman's record. The only player that has even managed to come close is the young Aussie player, Marnus Labuschain, with an average of 63.43 and about 1459 runs to his name. But back to Bradman. Aside from the insane records we already talked about, the legend also managed to blow minds once again during the 1931 match between Blackheath and Lithgow. In that match, Bradman scored 100 runs in over three overs, cementing his name once and for all in the Cricket Hall of Fame. Everyone knows that scoring a dot ball is a difficult feat to pull off, but playing a maiden super over? Now, that is just absolutely insane, and that's what everyone thought when West Indies spinner Sunil Nareen became the first bowler to bowl a maiden in a super over. Nareen set this unbreakable record in cricket during the 2014 edition of the Caribbean Premier League in a game between Red Steel and Guyana Amazon Warriors. By the end of the game, both teams had scored 118 to 9, respectively, in 20 overs. And so, to decide a winner, a super over was arranged. That was when Nareen shocked the entire world by setting such an insane record that no one has been able to touch till today. The Australian team is next on our list for being the cricket team with the most records. For three consecutive years in 1999, 2003 and 2007, the Australian team won 50 over World Cups. The first being under Ricky Steve Waugh as captain and the other two being under the captaincy of Ricky Ponting. In the same match, the Australian former wicketkeeper scored 50-plus runs in the three World Cup finals, thereby locking in yet another record for the team. And just like the first, this second record also remained undefeated. When you consider that qualifying for the World Cup finals three times in a row is super tough, you realize why this record by the Australian team is so incredible. But the next one on our list will knock your diapers off. Phil Simmons' bowling performance had to be the greatest and most inspiring of all time. While he played for West Indies in the game against Pakistan in 1992, Simmons successfully bowled 10 overs and conceded just three runs. By the end of this match, Simmons had a bowling average of 0.3 alongside three maiden overs, so the figures looked something like 10-8-3-4. This is not a record you come by very easily in the game of cricket. One would think that in the era of super aggressive T20, such a record could have been broken, but alas, the record remains untouched. Three decades is quite a long time to dedicate to a sport, but that was the kind of passion Wilfred Rhodes had for the game of cricket. Rhodes played and thrived in the sport from June 1st, 1899, when he had his test debut to April 3rd, 1930, when he played his final test game. During his time on the field, Rhodes stood out as the first ever English player to complete two 1,000 run spells, while also taking 100 wickets 23 times. Till today, Rhodes stands as the only cricket player to grace the field for such a long time, with India's Sachin Tendulkar being the closest to the record after playing for 24 years. As it stands, no other player seems to be coming close to Rhodes's record, making his record an unbreakable one in cricket history. But that's not even all. Rhodes also remains the oldest player to play a cricket match at the age of 54. The world of cricket is quite familiar with the intense rivalry between India and Pakistan. 
It became such a big deal to the point that even people who weren't into cricket would watch games whenever these two countries went against each other. Well, the greatest of these moments finally happened during the 2021 ICC T20 World Cup. During the match, over 1 billion people sat glued to their seats, watching with sweaty underwear just to know who would win. This had never happened in cricket history, and these numbers have remained an unbreakable record till today. And for those rooting for India, well, you'd be glad to know that the Indian team came out victorious by 89 runs. Sorry, Pakistan. If you've ever heard the name Shatabdi Express, you may have wondered how that name came about. Apparently, the name was given to Shoaib Akhtar for his insane ability to bow at bat-breaking speed. Shoaib went on to win the record for the fastest ball ever bowled with a speed of 161.3 kilometers per hour. He was known to have the most records in cricket when it came to bowling. The Sri Lankan team really showed the world the heights they were capable of reaching in their prime. While they had already bagged multiple wins throughout the season alongside showcasing record-breaking performances, Shaman Devas came back to top all that in their match against the Zimbabwe team. The year was 2001, and Sri Lanka and Zimbabwe were having a go at it. Chaminda then decided to outdo himself by taking nine wickets and completely dismantling 80% of the Zimbabwean team after giving off 18 runs. And in 2017, Rohit Sharma, the Indian cricketer, set the record of three double centuries in ODIs and has held on to this record for the past seven years. Experts believe that this record will be almost impossible to repeat by anyone else. Do you think it can ever be broken? We are quite used to seeing the young generation on the field. However, in 1899, the world of cricket experienced something that had never been seen. A man of 50, Dr. William Gilbert Grace, served as the captain of the English cricket team. He did pass the baton of captaincy to Archie McLaren that same year after his last test match against Australia. As we go further, we see one of the weirdest records you can ever imagine. Keep in mind that a no ball or wide is considered an illegal delivery, and an over is only considered complete when six legal ones are bowled. With that in mind, Mohammad Sami, who is popularly known as Pakistan's fast bowler, has an insane distinction in bowling the longest over in cricket history. He spanned 17 balls in an ODI against Bangladesh, Sammy also bowled seven wides, four no balls, and made 22 runs in the same match. It is cricket tradition for test matches to be slow affairs, where the batsmen are allowed to take their time. However, there are some batsmen in history who chose to have no part in this cricket tradition. These batsmen like Brendan McCullum and Virinder Sehwag saw every ball as a chance to hit boundaries so it makes perfect sense that McCullum successfully hit the insane record for the fastest test century in just 54 balls. This crazy feat was made even more special by the fact that it happened in McCullum's final game against Australia in 2016. McCullum's insanely swift century beat the already existing record set by Mizbah ul Haq and Viv Richards, each of whom scored a test century in 56 balls. Another incredible record in the world of cricket was made during the match between Sri Lanka and India in the R. Prima Dasa Stadium, Colombo, in 1997. With the first bat, India scored 537 over 8 and declared the virtue of 100 from N.S. Sidhu, Tendulkar, and Mohamed Azharuddin. Then, the Sri Lankan batsmen Roshan Mahanama and Sanath Jayasurya pushed their team to a record score of 952 to 6 after scoring 350 and 225. Have you ever thought about who has had the most catches in a single game? Well, when it comes to the great fielders in cricket history, Indian names are not ones you would expect to have on the list. However, Rahul Dravid proved the entire cricket world wrong by becoming a batting icon. The man literally became India's safest hands with 210 catches from 164 matches. This is the most catches by any single player in international cricket. But even more, 
it is believed that no one, even in a few more years, will be able to live up to this record or break it, as there are no active players in the top five. Now, we've gone through some incredible and brilliant records in the game of cricket, but it is also important that we highlight some not-so-great records set through the years that are so depressing that they are impossible to break. For instance, while India may have been able to win 11 consecutive home series, Bangladesh has managed to top that with a record of 21 consecutive series defeats. Talk about being major losers. This is in no way to disregard the amount of improvement the Bangladeshi team has experienced and how much talent they hold. However, compared to the bigger teams, there is a long way to go for this horrible team. If you are up to date with cricket, then you know that only very few teams play a lot of tests, especially now that we have the T20 cricket. In fact, many believe that this is one reason why this record has not been beaten yet. However, Sachin Tendulkar was able to hit a record of 200 tests, and the only player who comes close to this record is Ricky Ponting with 168 matches. Finally, at number one is the most regarded records belonging to the Sri Lankan ace and master of Dusra, Muthia Muralitharan. This absolute legend has 77 in all formats, 66 in test cricket, and 10 in ODIs. The only player who has been able to come close to this record is Richard Hadley, who is in second place with 41. Currently, Ravichandran Ashwin is the only bowler with five wicket hauls to his name, just like Muralitharan. However, age isn't necessarily on his side, and so India almost always leaves him out when touring. This means getting to the record point is just a dream that may never come true for Ashwin, which means that Muralitharan might be holding on to his record forever. Talking about records, did you know Amit Mishra was 40 years old when he signed for Lucknow? And that's not even close to the oldest player in IPL history. So go watch this video right now because age is just a number for these legends.